Well, it's true. A lot of St. Patrick's Day events are geared toward adults, but not the hooli. This not celebration. The hooli. <laughs> it is meant for the whole family. That's one of the reasons we talk about it each year on the blend. It's happening in three days. Natalie Olson and Libby McCoddick are here this morning. Good to see both of you. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Uh, a hooli. We know what it is. Mm -hmm. I know what the hooli is. Some of the people out there may not. Explain what the hooli is. So the Hooli is a big Irish party, and here in Omaha, the Hooli is the kickoff to our High Holy Season. Mm -hmm. It's always the first weekend of March, and it gets us ready for St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. If you're coming to the Hooli, what should you expect to see or do? Oh. Well, the Hooli is filled with all things Irish. Uh -huh. Like she said, we're the kickoff to the St. Patrick's Day season. There are Irish dancers, there's Irish music, there's Irish food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there is, it's just a fun family event and yeah. it, it's fun for everyone. And you got dancers. We do, we, we have lots of dancers. I love the dancers. The Cream and Terry dancers are here. They're going to be dancing. What, what can people expect when they see the dancers? The award winning. By the way, Creed and Tear dancers, they're amazing. And they have several sets that they'll do throughout their spot. They have the older dancers who are much more experienced, mm -hmm. who are award winning, who travel and do lots of feshes throughout the country. Mm -hmm. We have our wee ones who are absolutely adorable and will steal your heart. Mm -hmm. um, they're just kind of starting out learning those steps. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of them are siblings and just, it's a big family. Again, the Irish culture, yeah. family. Is very important. It's just one example of the entertainment you'll have at the Hooli. And I want to talk to you more about the organization behind it. Mm -hmm. But first, to the dancers, Karina Tier Dancers, take it away. Karina Tear dancers, they just they just started working on that bit at about 8.30 this morning. <laughs> they just came up with that. Oh, thank you guys so much. <laughs> um, I've been to the Hooli, I don't know, probably three out of the last four years. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a great time. Who puts the Hooli on? Who sponsors it? Uh, so we are the Ladies Ancient Order of the Hibernians, which is a national organization, and our Omaha chapter is actually the oldest. We were founded in 1894. Wow. So we put on the Hooli every year, mm -hmm. as well as March in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. So Natalie, the money raised from this event, where does it end up going? We have several um, charities that we sponsor mm -hmm. local and in Ireland, and we're very proud of those. We do some yearly ones where we sponsor the um, Holy Family Parish down um, on 17th and Izzard. Mm -hmm. They do a sandwich program for the homeless and the hungry, uh, which we're really passionate about. We also have the Columban Fathers, who are located in Bellevue. And the Columban Fathers are also uh, part of this organization because they are our, he is our 
priest mm -hmm. for our organization. Mm -hmm. He's also the director of the National Columban Fathers, and that's located here in Bellevue, Nebraska, which mm -hmm. is pretty awesome. So we work with them and then some of the local schools, the girls' Catholic schools mm -hmm. we support, and then we do have some in Ireland that we're pretty passionate about too. So. Yeah. Natalie, can you pass one of those glasses over here? I want to see can. what this is all about. This is, the, yeah, yeah, this is our holy survival kit. Uh, so we brought one for both you and Mary. So it comes with... Wait, uh, I don't want you to pass the oh, glass. Okay. I, want, I want our viewers to see your manicure. So oh. how did you, like every bit about these gals when they come in, even the tips on her nails oh, are green glitter. Well, well, let's get to it. the menu. Of course, we've got some uh, beer glasses there for the Guinness. Yeah. Correct. Right? Uh, what else is on the menu? Go ahead. Uh, so in here, we have a ticket for you both uh, mm -hmm. so that you're able to come to the Huli and enjoy it. In addition to drinking stuff, what are we eating? Because this is what Mike loves probably okay. as much about the Huli as anything else. So uh -huh. we will have fresh homemade Irish stew. I just took your tickets out of your eyes. Oh, I, I saw what you did. I was going to get them back. Fresh homemade stew. Get yeah. back. Going. Uh, fresh homemade Irish stew. Mm -hmm. And Rotella's is donating our rolls this year. Oh, we love, love them. Rotella's. And then for the picky eaters, we will have hot dogs for the kids. Mm -hmm. uh, so we know we run into that. but yeah. And we'll have Irish coffee. Uh -huh. And we'll have uh, Irish beverages. Irish everything. Yes. But it is for the family and that's what we, we stress for you um, so that you can do something with the kids. It's 10 bucks for adults, five dollars and then 30 for everybody to get in. L-A-O-H Omaha.com to learn more about what's happening on Sunday. We want to give you one more look at the dancers so we'll say thanks to both of you and thank you Karina Tear Dancers for joining us yet again on the Morning Blend. It's always a pleasure. It is. Thanks gals. Yeah, thanks for coming. <laughs> and I'm going to um, I'm going to bring this, fill this up with music. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. I, can I also shamelessly pug my son? Yeah. Yes. What do you do? Happy birthday to my oh. Irish baby boy, Sullivan Nolan Olson. He's Happy birthday, Sullivan. Hello, Sullivan. Thanks for coming. Today on social media.